Oh, Libra. Before we even crank, hold up. Hey, boo, hey. Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. This is your first time viewing. Hey, boo. I'm Mocha. Also, this is your first time viewing. Look out. I make us a little. I make us a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. So all of my old and new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We get it popping. We do only positive shit only over here. We love, we enlighten, we evolve, we grow. That fuss and fight shit, we leave it on other people's shit. Because Mocha don't play that, okay? Um, and I got all the announcements. Oh, one more announcement. This is not a personal reading. If you need a personal, that information can be found. Y'all like my Bula Jetto? I'm feeling real-ish today, okay? So... With that said, <laughs> you can find that information for personal within the description, okay? <laughs> Got all ticky for y'all asses for a reason, so go use it now, all right? And so, we rocking. This will be for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Libra between the 1st and the 15th of October. I'm trying to be on time. Ain't y'all proud of me? Y'all ought to be proud. Now, let's rock, because I couldn't wait to get to, say, uh... I got a little something to say. Uh, I got to say, uh, happy birthday to you. It's your birthday, so do you. Happy Earth Day. Happy birthday. Happy twerk day to you. And many more to my babies and you are mommy of the boys. All right, now you know I'm extra. We're going to get it popping, okay? So this will be from the 1st to the 15th of um, October, but I did want to tell y'all happy birthdays, my babies. May y'all make the best of it, all right? Positive vibes only. All right, so busting off the gate, I'm going to give you guys a spirit message first. What I do see, Libra, I feel some of you guys are healing some type, some type of mother issue. Uh, if you are the mother, okay, during this time, I feel like... You feel like you've given to a relationship, possibly to a child's father or ex-husband or husband, okay? You give, 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 give. And you're just taking this time to nurture yourself, you know, and actually work on something that is going to bring, I feel like it's something tangible, okay, that you're working on. Some of you guys are opening up a business, okay? You're tired of being a damn at-home mom, all right? You, you're starting something new. You could have gotten a new job or you will begin a new job. And I feel like it's causing a little chaos during this time possibly with the father of your children, okay, or this could be a husband, all right, some of you guys could possibly have uh, abandonment issues that are you needing to heal, and I feel like it causes you in relationships, you know, to overgive in relationships, okay, and you feel like, you feel, for, for some of you all, you feel abundant, okay, I feel like I'm speaking to someone who has, who, it ain't tricking if you got it, tricking if you got somebody, it ain't tricking if you got it, but I'm just saying, if you're not, sharing and building with a person for the right reasons and you're just giving out tangibly to keep them you know that is what's blocking your new beginning so stop shit some of y'all some of y'all will be um possibly dealing with the water sign during this time okay some of y'all are possibly trying to resurrect the family situation this could be with the mother or the father of your children you want to you want to build a solid foundation you want to build your yeah, build your damn bricks Build your house on with, with bricks and not sand, okay? I am seeing that for some of you all, you've been manifesting this new beginning. You've been manifesting this new tangible, this new material beginning, and you're going to get it. It's yours, okay? Just start saying, it's mine's already shit. It's mine's. It's yours, okay? I do see you guys, okay, have been working towards a relationship possibly for the last seven months, possibly with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I do see uh, with this person, you, you're wanting to make a judgment call. What the hell are you going to do? During this time, you're going to straight up tell them, look, I feel like you and this person both focus on finances and, you know, you may feel like you have to have, you know, this amount in order to have a relationship. You got to, you know, you got you, you can't be bought. You, you pretty much you you don't want to go into a relationship with this person. This could be you or the other person just kind of focusing on their finances, even though the love is there. Okay, it's there, but you need to make a judgment call on who you're going to put first, Libra. Period, point blank. For some people, sometimes you got to show a motherfucker, okay? You got to show them better than you could tell them. During this time, y'all going to be showing people better than you could tell them. And with doing so, with loving yourself, okay, and possibly after healing an issue with your mother or your father, because some of y'all are definitely healing issues with your parents. You feel like you give, give, give to these, to your parents, 
okay, or to some type of authority figure, parent figure. This could be mother and father. Go both ways. Take it how it resonates. But I feel like you've been giving, giving, giving. And even with you on your best shit, you just want to be accepted by this person. And I feel like y'all needing to express that. Some of y'all um, during this time have made the decision. I feel like this is a blockage in love because you give so much with the expectation of being expected. I'm sorry, ex expected, accepted. And you expect that love back. And when you don't get it, you're left feeling like you need, you know, you've left feeling like you lost something or that you wasted your time. And to be honest, I've learned that no time is worth, no time is waste time. It just gave you more time to figure out what the hell you will not accept and deal with. Period. Okay. So I do see during this time, some of you guys could have uh, straight up, some of y'all for trying to, some of y'all been in, in, in your head about cutting your mama off or cutting your daddy off. I strongly see this. Some of y'all, this could be the mother or father of your children again, and you just want to cut this relationship off. You feel like it drains you. Some of y'all feel like not making a damn decision is the best damn decision to make. Some of y'all are very indecisive about taking a leap of faith and possibly creating a business. But I, Spirit is saying, what you scared for? What you scared for? Nothing to fear but fear itself, babe. What you scared for? Some of y'all are really internally conflicted, possibly about leaving a job because you feel like you deserve more. And you do. You don't got to settle for shit. I ain't settling for not even mother, even mother, mother, even mother, mother thing. You hear me? But I feel like during this time, a lot of you guys are internally conflicted about possibly a fire sign or earth sign. Aries, Leo, Sash, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like you cut this person off to focus on your money. But I feel like you love this person. You want to build with this person. You want to grow with this person. But you're afraid to express yourself or allow yourself to be vulnerable. Well, let me tell you something. Vulnerable. 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 Y'all know the damn word. Vulnerability. I'm country. Shit. We'll bring you blessings during this time trust yourself and trust the god that moves through you libra okay i am seeing some of you all are indecisive about a pregnancy you don't know if you want to take that leap of faith and move forward in a pregnancy y'all babies are blessings y'all some of y'all are indecisive possibly regarding a uh, aries leo sag possibly just aries Virgo, Pisces. Some of y'all are walking away from a Scorpio during this time. You're just choosing. You're choosing not to have a conversation with this person. I feel like a lot of y'all just gonna cut their ass off. Other air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like this person hasn't been communicating with you. Maybe you cut someone off, okay? Possibly you could have cut somebody off possibly two months ago, two weeks ago. You know, five months ago. Seven days ago, all kind of shit up in here. But it's about you ending cycles and going into new one. And it definitely involves the way that you look at things. Some of you guys are indecisive about communicating with an Aries. I feel like some of y'all feel like your mama don't know how to talk to you. You feel like you got to move away to transform. Some of y'all are pregnant by a Scorpio. Some of y'all could be pregnant by a Scorpio, a Virgo, or Aries. I hate when y'all do this shit too. <laughs> Shit. I hate to see this much tea. But it's cool. This is a no flex, no judge zone. <coughs> Y'all excuse me, I'm still getting over a sinus infection. I just make it look good. But I, I do see some of y'all could have had a Scorpio move away from y'all. Or you just chose to not deal with that person. You indecisive between the Virgo, possibly and the Aries. Because the Aries not communicating. But I feel like you have a Virgo that wants to build. And you don't know which way to go. Some of y'all definitely going to be um, a DNA test required for pregnancy. I feel like I'm talking to a young mother. All right, spiritually, show me. First to the 15th. Some of y'all are very indecisive about taking a leap of faith and leaving that damn job. You worry about what your mama and daddy going to say because that's what the hell they did. Four, five years. 50 years. That ain't what you want to do, though. Some of you guys are afraid to take a leap of faith because you feel like you're not good enough. Y'all, this cycle is ending. This cycle in the way that you look at things are ending, baby. We cardinals. We pioneer shit. It's time to go. It's time to roll. Move forward. 
forward movement only, okay? New shit only. Even if it's a new perspective, a new way of looking at things. Healing, forgiveness, allowing people to give to you as well. Be receptive, Libra. Okay? I am seeing, yeah, some of y'all, you're going to receive communication from another air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. This person wants to move forward with you. But some of y'all, you can positively have a conversation with this Aries person. That is really sticking out. I feel like you had to cut this person off in order to recreate your world, transform. Now you're ready to talk. This could be that other person's energy. I strongly feel like some of you all are completely moving away from people from your past. And you're going to be victorious going forward. You feel like these motherfuckers don't know how to treat me? I show them better than I can tell them. I'm going to lead by example. Some of you all, there's definitely a fire sign coming forward. Okay, they want to communicate with you. This person could have had a lot of options in the past. But I feel like what they wanting to communicate, they're wanting to start something new with you. They have walked away from all of their options, y'all. They want to victoriously move forward. Now they see you the one. I was kidding. I hear kissing fucking frogs. And then I found my princess. Or my prince. <laughs> and I decided I don't want to kiss no damn frogs no more. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, some of y'all are possibly going to be cutting off an air sign. This person, they don't mean they ain't going to be stalking, though. Y'all going to be getting stalked by air, stalked by air sign. Uh, stalked by air sign. But I understand they, they stalking and not talking. Like this person wants to communicate. They in their head, but they won't move forward. Some of y'all, it has to do with the, uh, with the equal level of give and take. If you're dealing with Earth, Capricorn towards Virgo, you don't know if you want to move forward, move move with this person forward. If you just want to, you know, just focus on your money and just walk away from it because you do better by yourself when you focus on your money. You feel like you have to give, you're giving more than this person in the relationship, especially when it comes to your finances. If you're dealing with fire, Aries Leo Sag, I feel like you want to take a leap of faith with somebody. I feel like you want to create with this person. However, you may feel like this person has a lot of options. So it makes you low-key be a little defensive towards them. I feel like you also want to victoriously move forward with this person. Like you do, and they do as well. But I feel like well-needed conversations with the right damn questions are going to be communicated between the 1st and 15th of October. Especially if you have a child with this person, okay? You guys are going to be able to cut the bullshit off and move forward with the equal level of give and take. It's just up to you to make that judgment call. If you're dealing with water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I feel like with this person, yeah, if you're dealing with water, water, you could feel like water got a lot of options. You could feel like water out here doing their thing, even though, for some of y'all, it's in your head because water wants Ace of Cups with you. Some of y'all, you just have to heal that mother and father issue because you have a feeling of like, I feel like a, a, a lack mentality. I'm not good enough. I ain't got enough. It's not, it's not enough. But you you projecting it on this person based on how you feel internally. You're needing to heal that during this time. Spirit is bringing healing to you, baby. I am seeing a lot of y'all third eyes going to be booming. Very intuitive and healing and receiving time. Do see if you're dealing with air, you're finally going to get the truth. And it's, it's going to heal that that feeling of indecisiveness, okay? So I feel like y'all, this you or this person could have cut one another off and just chose not to talk and just move forward. So this person is stalking now before they come forward because they don't want to walk into no damn brick wall, okay? They don't want to feel the bam. Because <laughs> Libra, y'all got a hell of a bam. It gets cold. Ice box, okay? So I do see y'all, this is a very transformative time, but ultimately y'all, y'all outcome is the Ten of Cups, coming from the Three of Cups, reconciliation. Some of y'all might be saying three, three, three a lot because Spirit is telling you expansiveness, ex shift and expand to bring you that, to bring you what you want, but you got to be willing to forgive, understand, compromise, and see things from more than your perspective, Okay. Because somebody here is, wants to reconcile and also they want harmony with you. They want to put in the work with you because they seen the errors of their ways. Libra, they sorry. Can they just be sorry? They sorry, Libra. They sorry. Forgive. For some of you, it's a Sagittarius. Forgive. 
because it took for you to move away from this person and love yourself to show their ass better than you could tell them. I'm the one. Okay, I'm the one. Not one of yours. All right? So I love y'all. This is what I have for y'all between the 1st and the 15th of October. Much, much, much love. Enjoy your birthday season, babes. And I see y'all mid-month. Bye, babies.